Andre Way with Just Release once again enjoying this sunshine working today doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that trimming trees and feeding rabbits and washing cars just a glorious day outside look at this sunshine beautiful day beautiful day beautiful day to be doing something positive instead of doing something negative Watching my mom's car down, cleaning it out, so she can go and pull up in church tomorrow, looking good. She really enjoys herself going to church and doing things. I got over here, my little buddy right here. This is my little buddy. Buddy, buddy, come get on the camera, buddy. This is buddy. Buddy, they want to see you on camera, buddy. They want to see you on camera. That is Buddy. My rabbit pulled up, hurt, injured. I brought him back to life. I get an old flurry thing. Enjoy eating, drinking water. And over here, these are the noisy ones right here. They make noise. Hey, hey, get out of there. All they do is eat. Eat and eat and drink too. Look at them. Ah, oh, look at them. Hey, y'all on camera. Y'all on camera. They want to see y'all. Just some animals. I love animals. Need to get me a dog. It's just a beautiful day out here, and I'm uh, enjoying myself and and doing what's right, trying to do what's right. My old tree over here. It's not doing too well. I planted it. And it's, it's just not doing too well. It's dying on me. But I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep watering it. And try to bring it to life. Until it do better. It's just a nice day today. Nice day to talk about some things. Ooh, I'm tired. I'm tired. But I remember the tired days in prison when we did things for the state. We worked and we kept things alive. They had everything that you needed. They had a, a bus barn, hog pens, chicken houses, Ooh, them was some, some of the damnedest places. And we had to take care of the animals, take care of the land. But when you come out here in society, you don't even want to take care of your own people's home, your own people's lawn. So I try to do a little bit. Every day I try to do something around my mom's house to keep her land, keep it looking good and keep it alive. It's, it's not hard. It's easy. It's hard to take care of somebody's land when you're in prison. Because prison, they're going to get you up early in the morning to go out there and take care of theirs, pull their weeds, Clean they old dog graveyards out. The damnest thing you ever wanted to see. A dog graveyard. Kept more better than the human's graveyard. The human's graveyards are full of weeds and the crosses that they have posted on the inmates' graves are stained and old. But when you look at the dog graveyard, they, they posters and fences around the graveyard are, are white, painted, kept painted. 
inmates take care of them. I remember a time when they was taking us out to to work, and it was real cold. It was colder than it than it's supposed to be, because if it's it's beyond a certain temperature, they don't supposed to take you out. I told you about the captain that we had, old Motormouth, and he was taking us out, and like some of us wouldn't want to. We didn't want to go because they get we didn't have no jackets. The jackets that they gave us was the the material of pants or a shirt. It was thin and some thin white gloves. So we laid it down. So instead of them bringing us on in, they had us come through the shower, get into our boxes, and had us all sitting in Indian style inside the showers. And then when we was going out as each individual, they would take them and take them into the warden's office. And the warden, he was like I say, he was a black guy. And the, and the assistant warden was a white guy. And the major, he was white. And they was all sitting in there, and they was bringing each inmate in there. And I was noticing before my time came, they was going back out the back door. So when I went up to the, my time to come in there, and they was all sitting there, and they say, wait, uh, why you don't want to go to work? I say, well, it's cold outside. He say, well, it shows that it's 72 degrees. I say, well, what? I say, if it's 72 degrees up here by this, this unit, then we go down there by that river. I'm pretty sure it's, it's colder than 72. He said, well, I'm the warden. I say, y'all going on back to work. So we all went back to work. It was 73 of us. And if it would have been one more trailer, one more trailer, then they would have brought the whole line force in. But the only good thing happened that day, we all got major cases, but we had got winter jackets, big thick winter jackets. They was green and they were real thick. And they brought them, they brought them in. That was the first time that ever happened in the, on that facility. But we had got them. But anyway, that day we went on to work, but they didn't take us down by the river because they knew it was colder than it, than it you normally know, supposed to be. So they had us working around the compound. And then I was in seven hole. So we was over there working and we working. So they had a, a punk squad. And they, I think they was nine hole. And they was over by another spot and they was working. And this was the first time I ever know that bees live under the ground. Big old bees, I'm talking about big bees. And they was over there working, and all of a sudden, them punks went to, ah, ah, and all, and then we looked up there, and them bees was coming out like claws. They was coming out like claws all over them punks. And I was like, I was like, ooh, we, I had never seen, but that was the funnest thing, because some of them punks had, Ball heads, and now I mean, I mean, they was on them punks, and them punks was, boy, they was, <laughs> and them bees was tearing them up, and we must have laughed because you, they couldn't run too far because you had they, they boss man was up on the horse, then you had the hot towered guy with the rifle, so you, they couldn't run, but in circles, they was running in circles, and them bees was tearing them up with the damnest thing I ever seen in my life. Bees coming up out the grounds. I'm talking about like clouds. I mean, no, big old bees. I forgot what they call them, big old bees, but they two them punks up. Boy, 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 penitentiary life. Living in the penitentiary was something else. I remember a time when we used to, when we was cutting and cleaning up down there by the Trinity River. And well, I mean, you had some of the damnest guys in prison. They was, uh, doing some of the things but I'm going to get back in another episode this is Andre Wade with Just Release <laughs>